Hey everybody, my name is Ernie. I'm the Web Technologies Librarian at Paul Sawyer Public Library. And today I'm going to review and recommend to you this book. It's called Beasts of Burden Animal Rights and it's written by Evan Dorkin and illustrated by Jill Thompson. It's a graphic novel uh, collection of a bunch of different standalone short stories about a group of neighborhood pets, um, a bunch of dogs and one cat, that go around solving mysteries and investigating supernatural occurrences that are taking place in the area where they live. Um, they even become sort of experts in the field and other pets, other animals in the area will come to them to uh, investigate, to take a look at what's going on because like most things of this nature, the place where they live, things aren't what they seem and it seems like uh, something's going on in the background. So it's sort of like Scooby-Doo if everybody was a dog is, is kind of the, the vibe I get from this. It's really interesting to see uh, the characters develop. They each have a, all uh, their own little backstory that sort of starts to come out in this volume and you get a little bit of a hint as far as what motivates them, what kind of brought them all together, and there's a whole lot of good back and forth dialogue interaction between them, especially when you have a cat thrown into the mix with a bunch of dogs. Uh, obviously there's going to be a little bit of uh, joking back and forth and, and it really comes out and they do a good job uh, writing that. And as far as the art goes, it's all very beautifully done in this watercolor kind of style. And in fact it took, I believe, almost 10 years for them to do just this amount of the story just because the art is uh, took so long for them to do and it was all done basically specifically for this uh, so it's it's very interesting in that aspect as well uh, it, there's a lot of horror elements obviously since there's a uh, you know supernatural things going on and mysteries for them to solve so if that's your kind of thing this is definitely worth checking out I'm going to say that if you're an animal fan like I am, uh, it can be kind of sad, uh, you know, just like in normal horror movies with people running around, uh, it doesn't usually end up great for everybody, and that kind of happens in here, too. Uh, and in that aspect, I would also say that it's a pretty much geared specifically towards adults. There's a lot of scary things going on in here and a little bit of language, so uh, depending on that, I would definitely make sure that older audience takes a look at this. Um, I read it a long time ago and I just reread it to, uh, to make this review and it has only grown better with time. Uh, there's a lot of interesting, like I said, interaction between the animals and I'm really glad that I reread it. And if any of that animals, mystery, any of that kind of thing is your deal, definitely worth checking out. Even if you're not a graphic novel person, this one is kind of special, and I think you're really going to enjoy it. Thanks a lot.